Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Morocco, Peru and Costa Rica are all on their way out of the FIFA World Cup so far. But Argentina and Germany, incidentally the two finalists from 2014, could join them in packing their bags and leaving Russia very shortly. Nigeria punished Iceland 2-0 yesterday and it threw Group D, my group of death, in the complete disorder. Ahmed Musa had a masterful performance and his second goal is probably my goal of the tournament so far. Funnily enough though, a win for Nigeria is what Argentina needs because although Sampaoli's side's chances are slim, it means they need to now beat the Nigerians and hope Iceland don't win against Croatia on Tuesday. Had Iceland won yesterday, Iceland would only need a draw against Croatia, who are already through and I could see both teams playing to ensure it happens and send Messi and his teammates home. Germany meets Sweden today and with Sweden already on 3 points from their win over South Korea, if they beat the Germans and Mexico beat South Korea, it would be bye bye Germany, bye bye Korea. Yesterday, Brazil had to dig deep for their 2 0 win over Costa Rica. Keylor Navas kept the Costa Ricans in the contest until the dying moments, but two late goals from Philippe Coutinho and Neymar gave Brazil the win and lead off Group E on goal difference. One moment of note for me in the game was Neymar being shoved very lightly in the chest and falling to the ground, appealing for a penalty. The ref initially gave it, but it was then ruled out by the video assistant referee. What that meant to me is that if he fell in such a way, but it was not a penalty, it was then a clear dive, yet he got no caution for it. Overall though, I think VAR has shown what a bad job referees have been doing in the sport over the years, as so many wrong calls have since been overruled. I just hope its addition to the sport doesn't mean referees become lazier over time, leaving simple decisions to the full kit referees sitting in the room to make the call. But why do they even need to be decked out in full kits to sit in a room anyway? Another cracking match from yesterday was Switzerland's come from behind 2-1 win over Serbia. Great action throughout, but that goal from Granit Xhaka was just wow. Another of my contenders for goal of the tournament. It means the Swiss joined the Brazilians at the top of Group E on 4 points each, but separated by goal difference. Serbia are still close behind on 3 though, so it's gonna be really interesting when the group is in action again on Wednesday. As mentioned earlier, Germany meets Sweden and Mexico meets South Korea later today, but Belgium also take on Tunisia in the day's other game. Can't see Tunisia getting the better of Belgium here, but with this World Cup, you just never know what may happen. Anyway, what are your thoughts on Argentina and Germany's chances? Leave your comments down below, but don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This has been The Match Card. Peace.